so vivid in my head that she immedi- immediately went from bully, strong, like I run this but, courtyard to <gasps> he hit me. <laughs> and I was oh, like, oh, little bitch. I was like, what just happened? You ever want to look her up? Yeah, I know. Just See what the fuck she's done to her disaster of her life. <laughs> <laughs> it was Condoleezza Rice, actually. No kidding. <laughs> what oh, if it was somebody shit. like that? No, that would be crazy. She's <laughs> angry at you for punching her all this time, <laughs> starting wars, so, Syria and shit. But I'm saying it could happen. Okay, I'm, I'm with Rhonda. So let's go back to the the difference between yeah, yeah, you yeah. punching Rhonda. That would be the last punch you ever threw. I get, She'd I get, flip you on your head on the I, concrete, smash your head open, stomp you into a mud puddle. And, then, and, then, <laughs> and, and, and if people caught all this on video, all they would say is Eric Griffin hits a woman. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> or he had it coming. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. Yeah, good for her. Domestic abuser yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, with the wrong, yeah. strong woman. I don't know. But, I just, but I don't the like the difference it. between that and R- Ronda's a professional mixed martial arts champion. She's a champion and one of the greatest female champions of all time. I didn't like seeing her face look like she that. She shouldn't have fought that woman. I just I didn't Listen. like seeing it. I, I, what, what I'm saying though is I couldn't, I didn't feel any of that. I didn't feel uh-huh. any of like, oh, it's the competition and she trains. Right. No. What I saw is a bruised and battered woman. That's what I saw. Well, and that's that probably was, my problem. Like, okay, I, so you must be talking about the Holly Holm fight because that's when the one she was bruised yeah, 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 and battered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when she got head kicked and she yeah. was bloody and her face it was, was just, a mess. It was a, it was the Amanda Nunes fights were just 48 seconds of knuckles in the face. Yeah. That was a quick fight. Yeah. She just got the fuck beat out of her yeah. in that fight. But and both of like, those fights. But th- there's lessons in that. See, you can fight in MMA and there's, there's danger and there's consequences, but if you're in shape, and you're prepared correctly, you can fight. But there's a lot of women that weren't prepared correctly, and Ronda fucked them up. That's just how it goes. That's I mean, sometimes well, I you're the nail. Also, like sometimes you're the hammer. Sometimes you're the nail. I mean, well, that's I think just, we also hot, pumped her up. You know, it was like it was like a money marketing. Uh, it was great marketing too. She only had it was a little. I mean, say we. I mean, I pumped her up. I mean, Everybody I was pumped the one, her up. But it was me doing a lot of the. Pr- but it was based on what she'd been able to accomplish. It wasn't based on bullshit. It was based on her actual performance inside the octagon against people like Katz and Gano, against people like Sarah McMahon. I mean, she, what she had done was supremely impressive. But you, but but we but, love a champion. Mm-hmm. We love undefeated. We right. love being the best ever. Right. right. We, we we get behind that. Right. And that's what was behind her going into that fight. Right. And it didn't look like that. Well, that what that shouldn't have been behind her going into that fight. Maybe the Holly Holm fight. The Holly Holm fight. But even the Holly Holm fight, she was under massive amounts of distractions. She was under. She was. They were at. They were going to do Roadhouse. Remember, they were going to do a Roadhouse movie. Yeah. And she's having meetings with agents. Yeah. And and they just thought she could fuck up anybody on the planet. That's what I'm but saying. The, the problem is. Unless it didn't you're look like a hundred percent all in with your training and your learning and your development, and you're making sure that you've got the right training partners and the right coaching and the right staff and nutrition and all these different things. If you don't, if you have any any part of that missing, then the people coming up who have all those co- bases covered, they're going to surpass you because they're talented too. And that's see, what happened with her. You're knee deep in the world. You know everything about it. Okay. As a layperson, right, just looking at them standing next to each other, I mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, she gonna get her ass beat." So you looking at Rhonda standing next to Holly Holm? Yeah, you I, thought that Rhonda was gonna get her ass beat. Yes, I, I when I saw it, I was like, I, "How's why, this gonna work?" Why would you think that? I don't know. Well, Ron, just well, the eye test. She just looked Holly's bigger. Very physically, she impressive. looked bigger. She was. I thought she was physically bigger than this person. Well, I have thought, you ever seen Sarah McMahon? No. Rhonda stopped Sarah McMahon in one round. Sarah McMahon was an Olympic silver medalist in wrestling, and she's a tank. I wasn't into it like that. Maybe if right. I'd seen that, I would have been like, well, this is going to be a good fight. Cause yeah. she, but that was my first time. And, I, and just looking at it, I was like, this doesn't look like this is going to be a good fight. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> You know, it just I just didn't I just didn't think it was gonna be a good fight. And then when then you hear just you hear you guys talking, you hear like the guys going like, you know, uh, uh, Holly Holmes, she's a boxer and this and that. And I'm like, oh, she's wow, this isn't gonna go well. And then sure enough, it didn't go well. So then that made me have like the respect level for female, you know, fighting. If I'm just coming in, like at that time, you you know, it was like Ronda Rousey's everywhere. She's in movies. She's in like you know. And then you're like, oh wow, this is the greatest fighter ever. I hear this is the this she's the the attraction of a lifetime. And right. then you go, okay, all right. I'm going to check it out. Let me check out. Wow, that girl looks big. I don't think this is going <laughs> to. And then she gets demolished. And you're like, well, is this a sport? I, I think that was a big blow for female fighting. What are you talking about? That was like one of the best things to ever happen to female you, fighting. 
Yeah. Okay, well, we're different in that way. I think she should have won would have been the best thing. No, no, no. It's good to, to know that anyone can lose, even the greats. I think even we, the greats, I, they get I think we compare it to boxing kicked. too much is what it is. Boxing, it's got to be. you got to be undefeated. You know, boxing, we love undefeated. One blemish on your record, and it, had, it does something. Yeah, you know? it doesn't work like that in MMA. Right, right, right. Because in MMA, there's so many different ways to win. The only one who's really undefeated at the top of the food chain is, well, two guys. Khabib Nurmagomedov, who's the lightweight champion. He's undefeated, period. Mm-hmm. Mauled everybody. Except Al Iaquinta went the distance with him. and you know, But still beat his ass. B- d- still beat him. But John Jones is really undefeated. John Jones has one loss well, in his a, career, but it's a disqualification. He, is he the guy that's been disqualified because he was well, on he drugs or something? Well, he got caught with some shit in his system that he shouldn't have had in his system. And how did he get it in his system? We don't know. It was only in there for a very short amount of time. There's a lot of speculation. Uh-huh. We don't until that gets ironed out. We By don't the way, 